we've already cleaned the underframe pieces, the large underframe pieces. Uh, cleaned the holes for the brake gear mounting. That's M. That's three mil. So M3 bolts go through there, and also clean up anything on the on the 3D printing. So now take the longer of the two M5 studs, put a, a nut on the end that's going to go into the clevis, and take the draw gear cage, the draw spring, and the nylon nut and we're going to assemble those together onto here so there are two ends of the cage one has an m5 thread inside it and the other one is clearance for the m5 stud so put the long stud through the the hole on the end of the the draw cage with no thread in it, the clearance one. Okay, I've started the M5 nylock nut onto the end of the longer stud. I'm also now going to thread the other end of the longer stud into the clevis on the, this headstock and draw gear. So that, uh, and then I'm gonna tighten the lock nut up. Thread it into the into the clevis so that you can just see the end of the stud appearing in the clevis. We may need to adjust that later as we adjust the tension on the draw gear but at this stage that's uh, good, well engaged and is not going anywhere. So now I'm going to tighten up the long nut. I use a adjustable spanner because it has longer reach otherwise you won't get a normal spanner to fit over that nut now in the um, inside the cage so the the nylock nut just needs to have it so that it pushes it so that the thread is coming through the end of the 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 nylock that's far enough if you try and put them too far on sometimes they start binding quite badly so that's the uh, positioned now where we need it while you're doing it up you can actually just hold by hand the other end because there's not much torque on the uh, on the nylock when you're putting it up just into the just far enough into the stud to appear in the end of the nut so I just hold the end of the uh, of the uh, the other end on the clevis using the, the headstock. Assemble the other end of the wagon with the headstock and the clevis and the shorter of the two M5 studs with a lock nut on there passing through this hole and then another lock nut onto this end we're going to lock that onto the the end of the uh, the draw gear cage uh, and that will complete the draw gear assembly it will need adjusting when we put it onto the wagon now i've threaded the shorter stud through the the under frame hole and into the end of the draw gear cage the one that has a thread in and so now I'm not going to actually tighten this up until we've decided on the length and we'll do that when we offer the the assembly up into the floor and sole bars so I'm going to leave that one and this one we, we've got some some adjustment here because as long as the end of the stud doesn't hit the uh, draw hook um, or even if it does actually the whole assembly doesn't really move so it's okay and this end we've got the amount you can see here because the the free length of the spring is only uh, is, is already shown so we've got that amount of adjustment and we've also got some in here so we can adjust the the length of the studding uh, so we can make it nice and uh, snug onto the floor. As you offer the draw gear assembly onto the wagon floor on the ends of the sole bars what you'll find is at this stage it's a little bit loose which is exactly how it should be and uh, then we will adjust the in the first instance we'll adjust this by turning the whole headstock it easily moves and we can adjust it 
uh, as we uh, as we then offer it again and what we are looking for is this um, to be this the fit to be so that the draw gear is the spring is just under tension and holding everything in place and it's a good reason to do that's a good reason to do that which is that then when we glue the headstocks onto the sole bars and the floor it will be put firmly against the headstocks by the spring tension of the draw gear which means we don't have to clamp it really uh, clamp it vertically but not clamping it lengthways because that's quite a long clamp actually that you'll need uh, which you don't need in fact so do remember it's important obviously that the draw hook is facing in this case downward so that towards the top of the wagon both ends and these two holes on the 14 foot 11 under frame are at the bottom of the wagon so on the top in this assembly and on some of the wagons there's a radius on the bottom of the headstock uh, some of them are square and symmetrical but if you have a 16 foot wagon that you're assembling then do remember if you've got a radius on here it, the only difference in the uh, up and down of the headstock is that the radius is on the bottom so it's very important at this stage because if you glue them in the wrong place it will be very difficult to fix that afterwards there we have it now i've tightened up the this end you can see that the the stud is protruding more into the cage um, by who probably five threads five turns and i did that by turning the whole headstock assembly and it tightens up on here, turns the whole thing and now we have a, um, an assembly which is tight against the end but not too tight, it's just easy, easy to move with your, your thumb like that, uh, obviously all ends the same so make sure everything's sitting in place, there's nothing fixed yet but these are, these are loose for example but they need to be tucked snugly up against the uh, the end and it's a good idea as well just to fit this piece in here which will fit uh, not with one hand but <laughs> yes it will just about so that that actually holds everything in place as well so you've those cross pieces are, are can be taken away at the end or I actually usually put them on the bottom and it'll slide through underneath uh, and then I don't take them out but they shouldn't they're not part of the wagon they're just to space it so that it's the right spacing and parallel important at this stage is to tighten all the lock nuts so uh yeah i'm going to take the the uh, eight mil the cross flat spanner to tighten all the all the lock nuts that's this one this one that's already tight we don't need to touch that and this one to tighten them against the, the two clevises at the end and the end of the, the draw cage. It is also worth making sure that the two flats on the nylon nut are running vertically so that it doesn't bind on the inside of the draw cage. It will naturally find that position uh, and normally it's not necessary to adjust it but just to make sure that the spring actually moves okay inside the draw cage at this point. Um, it's all possible to adjust afterwards but it's much better to do it at this stage so I've now got the whole draw gear tightened and uh, fixed in place with the tension on the on the ends on the headstocks against the sole bars I'm now going to fit it all together so that will be part of the next section